Ivanka Trump has not had a very fun week after Thanksgiving, poor Ivanka, right? Uh, on Tuesday, she had to go in and give a deposition to investigators about a potential price gouging scheme that she may or may not have been aware of regarding the uh, presidential inaugural committee and the Trump hotel in Washington, DC. See, as it turns out, Ivanka Trump was told allegedly, according to the investigation by a woman by the name of Stephanie Winston Wolkoff back in early 2017, that the Trump hotel in DC was apparently charging more than double the market rate for their services and venue to the Trump inaugural committee as they would charge to anybody else. And Stephanie Winston Walkoff says, Hey, something's not right here. They're charging over a million dollars for these facilities that should actually cost less than half a million. What's up with this Ivanka and uh, Rick Gates, who was also running things with Ivanka. And according to the investigation, neither of them did anything. And then about a year later, Winston Walkoff was let go, uh, allegedly because her own company was paid $26 million for services rendered during this inauguration. Um, so it looks like according to these, uh, allegations, I guess, by Winston Walkoff, who also has a new book out, uh, attacking the first lady, they used to be friends. Now they're not. Uh, and so she's just kind of throwing everybody under the bus. She will be testifying by the way, next week. Nevertheless, Ivanka gave her deposition. Depositions are typically done under oath. And she admitted on Thursday, she tweeted out that she had done this deposition. She thinks the whole thing is ridiculous and blah, blah, blah. Except here's the thing, Ivanka, there's receipts. This isn't the kind of thing you can just straight up lie your way out of, or that you can somehow uh, paint in a different light because there's receipts. That's what happens in business. That's what happens with these political campaigns, especially inaugural campaigns. Cause yours in, in particular, uh, has already had a lot of problems that, that people are looking into still. And if it turns out that your hotel did in fact overcharge your organization, just so that you all could put more money in your pockets, then yes, you're going to be in trouble. And again, it's not difficult to go through and see, did you charge them this much? Yes. Is that how much you usually charged at the time? No. Those are things that are on record. <laughs> so best of luck with your ridiculous defense of no, none of this happened. Walkoff is going to go into her deposition next week and she is going to throw you under the bus because she has already done that. And if she has evidence to back it up, which she might, we don't know. We'll see what happens from there. But Ivanka needs to take note because this kind of thing, even if this inaugural thing blows over and she gets out of it, um, you're going to be doing a lot more depositions in the coming months. Uh, you're going to have to answer for all of those investigations up in New York. Uh, you actually, you and Jared, I believe still have other investigations, uh, that are focusing on you guys. So yeah, this is your life now. Not exactly sure what you were expecting to happen, but the funny thing is, and I point this out about Trump all the time too, had you not chosen to put yourself in this position, in this bright, bright spotlight, none of this would have ever happened. Mostly because a lot of it is revolving around the presidential campaign, but the spotlight on your organization now that's threatening to take it down. That wouldn't have happened if daddy hadn't said, I want more. And you held on to the back of his coattails and said, bring me with you. Yeah. You're going to find out real quick that none of it was worth it.